Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R and data visualization using ggplot2. This is third part of our series on how to add CLDs for ANOVA test on ggplot2. In our first video, we have seen how to add CLD for one-way ANOVA. In our second video, we have seen how to add CLD for two-way ANOVA. And in this third one, we will see how to add CLD or compact letter display for three-way ANOVA. And here we require extensive customization of plot to map the third categorical variable on these bars. I will explain the code. First, you have to load the library to get the uh, data penguin and that library is Palmer penguins. Then you have to load em means, then you have to load multcomp. If you have watched my previous videos and followed those previous videos using RStudio, you have these three packages installed on your system. If you have not installed, if you want to work from scratch, then go to tools menu and install these packages using the install packages command. I have installed this, therefore I will not install again and I will run these lines, three lines, so that the these packages and functions and data set from these packages will be in memory. In our previous videos, we have not converted penguins to data frame, but here we will convert the penguins data set to the data frame. The penguins data set is originally in a table form. It's an advanced data frame. But in three-way ANOVA, that will not work in the em means function. You will have error in the em means function if you provide the, the table to the em min function. The uh, penguins as data frame, we have converted that penguins to a data frame. And we can see that penguins using head, head penguins and run that and we can see that it is getting printed just like the data frame. We'll specify mod now this model 3 using ANOVA and the first is our dependent variable formula in the formula first is dependent variable flipper length mm is the dependent variable and it is de dependent on this tilde sign is for that formula interface that flipper length mm is dependent on categorical variable species, categorical variable second is island and categorical variable sex. We are putting this plus because we want to see the additive effect and not the interactive effect. In this video, to make, keep it simple, we will not see the interactive effect of those uh, island and sex on, and uh, species on the flipper length and penguins data set is the data set which will be used to get variables from this formula. We will run this, we will see summary of the model, summary of mod 3 and we will run that. And you can see here these two variables species and sex are significant, having significant if effect on the uh, differences in flipper length. And the island has little less significant effect or uh, its significance to the level 0 0.1 alpha 0 0.1 that little significant effect because of the combination of species and sex we can say that interaction may be there but we will not probe those interactions here in this now using em min function we will calculate means for all these combinations of species island and sex that mod 3 object ANOVA object is the input specs these three categorical variables you have included in the specs and we will run that that combinations of species, island and sex will be used. I will run that. And you can see those combinations. These many different combinations are there. To this, all the means are calculated, all the standard errors are calculated and degree of freedom and upper and uh, lower confidence limit, 95% uh, confidence limit is there. We will compute CLD now using the CLD function from the multcomp. And this CLD function takes the first argument as the em means the data frame which contain the uh, all the means and this shall be the em mean object only therefore we have calculated using the em means function only then next argument is the letters uppercase l please don't forget this is the argument and option of this argument is again letters but this time l is lowercase and we'll run that and we'll see how those uh, cld's got co computed will run that and we'll get a dot group object variable added this dot group is there and all these a a b a b c are there a a b a b c means a are similar b these two are similar this c is that in the, uh, the that variable c all these three are different and likewise that comparison is there now we want to add these letters on the ggplot2 and for that we'll start call from ggplot2 
okay we'll require gg pattern also because this time we have to map third categorical variable on the some uh, visual as attribute of the plot this time we'll map the third variable to the pattern variable uh, pattern aesthetic and to get the pattern aesthetic we have called the uh, package gg pattern if you have not installed gg pattern go to tools menu now this is the gg plot uh, for that uh, and uh, it will be easy for us to go for this p uh, gg plot we are going to save there gg plot i'll just remove this p will plot directly without saving the plot and the em min cld is the input em min cld comma as x axis will be spaces s spaces comma y axis will be flipper underscore length underscore mm next variable which we are going to map is the fill that will map to island as in our previous video the third variable we are going to uh, apply to the pattern and this pattern aesthetic is coming from the gg pattern package and this pattern will apply to the sex variable the penguins from different sexes will have different patterns plus geom call here extensive customization is required to get the geom calls properly that position dodge is required position underscore dodge is equal to not only position is equal to d o d g e and this time geom call will be geom call pattern to get the pattern and we'll run that now ignoring this position here the spelling mistake is there little position and we'll run that again geom call pattern flipper length mm not found again i erred because in this em mean the flipper length e means are there em mean and we'll run this we'll get a plot now you can see here we require an extensive customization to customize this the first customization will do is to have the transparency of this reduced so that the strips will be little uh, conspicuous that alpha 0.5 we are going to specify and we'll run that now this strips we have to customize again the strips and the circles and for that will use the argument first pattern fill pattern fill is equal to black we are going to use because i have used when i practiced this black will bring this to next line so that it is visible will not go beyond this we'll have the next argument is pattern density pattern density to save time i will look here pattern density i specified 0.1 then pattern angle is equal to 45 this one then pattern spacing compact pattern spacing we are going to use therefore pattern underscore spacing is equal to 0.025 and that pattern key will make little smaller it's not required pattern key kl factor is equal to 0.6 and we'll run that ignoring pattern spacing spelling mistake is there pattern spacing and run that and now you can see that bars are good to look at one thing we have to adjust that color the boundaries or borders of the bars are not visible therefore i will add color there color is equal to gray 60 this time we'll use and run that and this bars okay uh, that uh, comma is required and run that and now you can see that the bars are very conspicuous with their own borders okay, we can change the colors also we can customize it as we require that now we want to add error bars to this geom again the error bars require little customization so that those will be mapped to their respective bars as y min is equal to em min minus ac y max is equal to em min plus ac width is equal to 0.1 size is equal to 0.5 and then position dodge is very important argument otherwise those letters will not get to their respective bars position d o d g e and this time that position dodge will be uh, width is equal to 0.9 because that's the default width for those bars which are we have plotted in the ggplot 
and we'll run that and it is saying that ac is not found again spelling mistake is there so please bear with my spelling mistakes ac this time it worked and that those error bars are there quite small error bars little visible we'll change the size to 0.75 and we'll run that those bars are there just change the width to 0.2 okay. and we'll see the effect later now we'll have to add the geom text or label and for that here we'll specify label in the aes of ggplot label is equal to dot group because our labels the the cld's are there in dot group variable and here at the end we'll add the plus sign is required at the end of this and to avoid i will bring that to new line width and this portion also i'll bring to new one and plus we'll have the geom takes and again we require the position dodge also for that otherwise the letters will not be with their respective bars and we'll run that and this also require a little customization to get those letters properly spaced and the letter size and all that is little different and more customization is required to make these letters uh, to go with their bar we'll take from my practice code position dodge 2 width 0.9 and we just 0.9 and size 0.4 i will copy that and we'll bring that this here that position dodge 2 and we'll uh, discuss this later not not in this video and we just this one and we'll run that this is not visible here i will just change the theme theme to classic this is we'll run that and now we'll zoom that to see whether those are properly spaced or not letters and error bars and we can see here in zoom those letters and bars are properly spaced error bars also properly we cannot export this object directly we have to uh, if you export that object to get this image then this image will be like this only very cluttered image and for that we will use the gg save function gg save and the gg save function will take the argument as plot the last plot is the argument but will explicitly save this plot p is the plot object will run this line and the output of this will put in gg save and the first argument is the name of the file three way anova with cld dot png will be the name of the file and the plot will be p width is equal to 7 height is equal to 5 u and please remember to use the unit units is equal to inch so that you get a properly sized with all the text sizes and proper that is gg save will run that and the plot is getting saved and that will save into my working directory and this is my working directory and we'll see the plot there in that working directory this mubassir working directory that plot will go and here that plot is there we have saved now 9.57m we'll run this to see the plot how it looks like and this plot now again require little customization to bring this letter above this one we'll just change the width in the gg save so that we'll come to here width in gg save we'll use 9 inches and we'll run that and again we'll see the plot this will close and we'll see the plot again how it looks like and again little customization is required to make this plot work i'll bring that legend to the bottom plus here theme theme in bracket legend dot position to the bottom and we'll run that and we'll save that at gg save again plot is getting saved and once it gets saved yeah it got saved we'll run that again we'll click this file name to open the plot maximize the window 
we'll see the plot now run that and now we can see that those letters are there with their respective bars and this is how the plot will look like the final output of plot will look like this is all for this session please click the like button if you like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet thanks thanks for watching this video